Welcome back to Perch Recap. We are doing Out Go the Lights by Aerosmith, but um, let's face it, we're here for a different reason. Aerosmith has announced their official retirement. Um, as a fan, I am grateful for 50 years of music that they gave us that I enjoy. They're my favorite band. Even doing all these other bands and all these other performances and play, they're still my favorite. And it's not close. Um, people have actually asked me how I feel about this. Someone actually even asked me if I'm okay. <laughs> well, first of all, I'm okay. Um, I'm just grateful for the music. That's, that's how I feel. I feel... You know, 50 years is a long run, or 53 years is a long run for anybody. And, the, and what sets them apart is for 45 to 48 of those 53 years, they were the same five band, five guys. I know Joey, I know Brad Whitford joined later on. It wasn't quite 1970, but when their first album came out in 1973, those five guys were the same five guys you saw if you saw them in 2015. And I don't know of any other band that can that can claim that. Same five original guys for 40-something years? My God. And the only reason why Joey Kramer wasn't there the last few years, to, to be honest, Joey Kramer, he couldn't keep up anymore. He was getting too... He, he couldn't keep up anymore. So the last few years, he hasn't been part of, part of the band. They had a different drummer in there. But again, he was there right up until 2016, 17, 18 in that range, maybe 19 in that range. And he even came back a little bit in the 20s. A little bit. So he's been there for the most part. It's only the last couple of years that he wasn't there. But regardless, uh, this is my band. And the only thing I would say I'm, I'm quote unquote, you know, sad about is the fact that we'll never get to see a new or another performance of Dream On by Steven Tyler. And a few other songs, Sweet Emotion, Walk This Way, all those other songs, these classics that'll live the test of time, in my opinion, and they will. Um, you know, you got these covers and these other people, and these, some people do a really good job, but nobody... Nobody does it like Mr. Steven Tyler. Dream on, the scream. Um, Dan Vask is someone I've done on this channel who I'm very, very impressed with. His vocals are through the roof. I love Dan Vask. He is so, so good. But I knew what his cover of Dream on, Dream on was going to be. I didn't do it on purpose because I knew what it was, but I did go check it out to make sure I was right, and I was. It's what a lot of people do. When the scream of Dream On comes on, the Dream On, Dream On, Dream On, and then the scream, he just goes really high with it. Higher than Steven, even. The falsetto of the Dream On, the scream at the end. But it, there's no raspiness to it. There's no grit to it. It's just a high note, and it's impressive. But Steven's is grittier. It's it, 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 There's raspiness to it. It's a shriek. It's a shrill. It's, there's more to it. And nobody does it like him like that. So, that's the only thing I have, res not reservation, but the only thing I'm kind of like, ah, uh, that kind of stinks about this whole thing. This was their final tour. We knew this was their final tour. And so at least they got there. They actually got a few songs, a few uh, performances in during their final tour. But Steven Tyler fractured his, his, Larynx, I don't know how you do that, first of all. How do you how do you fracture your larynx? He did. I'm assuming he, like a like your voice box, he 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 broke it. And what he did it, he, he during when he broke it or fractured it, they said that he would be back. And I was thinking at the time, this was a year ago, this is a 75-year-old guy, now 76, coming back from a fr fractured larynx to try to sing the way he sings, which is more taxing than most other singers. 
I didn't see I didn't see how it was possible. But then all of a sudden you see him with the Black Crows a couple months ago as a guest. And he did Mama Kin. This is post-surgery. He didn't sound great. Don't get me wrong. He didn't sound like he was perfect. But he sounded okay. And I thought, okay, this was a few months ago. He still has a few months to go before the next next tour is supposed to resume. And I thought, all right, he's got time. He's getting there. He, he was confident enough to do a song with them. So maybe we can get there. But in a, in, in a lot of ways, it's almost a testament to them that the fact that they, they, they decided and they told them and they told us, this isn't, this isn't going to happen. The doctors were working with him. He was trying. They saw him struggling to try to do it. They, and the writing was on the wall. He just, he's not going to be able to do this. The guy who is called a mutant, the guy who his voice in that, in that, those screams that he does that people are always so impressed with and always so impressed with how long he was able to do it. It did finally get him 50 years in. It finally got him and uh, he can't do it anymore. And they officially retired. So I'm okay with it in terms of they got, they gave us so much music. They gave us so long. You can go on YouTube and look up a lot of different versions of Dream On and him screaming his, his butt off. Um, we won't get any new performances. That's the only thing I'm a little bit of down on. But either way, I have been doing some Aerosmith songs last few months, trying to uh, show that they still rock and are still a hard rock band, even later on, because everybody always says they were more of a hard rock band in the 70s, and that's just not true. Um but this is not a hard rock song. This is more of like a kind of like a blue song. This is a definitely a different kind of a song. It's Out Go the Lights from their 2012 album, their last album. Um, in 2012, um, the album's called Music from Another Dimension. I really, really enjoy. I like this song quite a bit. I think it's the best song on their new album, uh, on their newest album, which was in 2012, Out Go the Lights. So let's get to it. Uh, please make sure you like comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you want to donate to the channel, information for Venmo and PayPal is in the description below. And if you donate, I'll react to anything you want. Here we go. Aerosmith, out go the lights. I love that. solo coming up here uh we'll go back 10 um this is my favorite song off this the newest album um I, it's got a bluesy feel it's got some cowbell uh it's totally different not something you would expect from them in 2012 on their last album totally different from anything 
on, you know, just push play or get, or even pump or get a grip. All those albums just totally different. And even from the 70s stuff, it sounds a little bit more like it, like the 70s stuff, in my opinion. So if you're an older Aerosmith fan, you should like this song. This sounds a little bit like it could be off of one of their 70s albums, in my opinion. A lot of background singers as well. But, that, you know, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I'll go back 10. Guitar solo. Pay attention to the harmonica here. This is the part that just repeats now for the rest of the song. Um, maybe I'll cut it off early. Maybe I'll, maybe I won't, depending on how much I get into it. Uh, the harmonica is very good here, and of course it's Steven Tyler on the harmonica. We'll finish this one up. Mac ten. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Good harmonica. I think it's over and it's not over. I'm not stopping this early. The guitar is too good.
There you have it, Out Go the Lights by Aerosmith. The ending there, um, to be honest, I, the, the guitar was really, really good there towards the end. No reason to stop it, and that, you know, that that's why I didn't stop it at all. I, I let it play all the way through. The outro is quite lengthy, but that's okay. Um, just one of my favorites it's definitely my favorite off the newer album. It's actually a top 10 Aerosmith song ever for me. I really like it that much. It's unique. It's different. It's a great sound, in my opinion. I will continue to do some more Aerosmith as we go along. I try not to saturate the channel with them. They are my band. They're my favorite band. So, you know, I try to space it out as best I could. But every once in a while, I just kind of get the itch. You know, I, I got to do an Aerosmith song. Um... And with the announcement on Saturday about the fact that they're going to be retiring from touring, I figured this would be a great time to do it. Real quick, one more thing about that announcement. They didn't say anything about any new material or studio recordings. They just said they're not touring anymore. They are retiring from touring. They didn't say they were retiring as a band. Is there a small possibility that they'll get into the studio and with no tour, no live shows, and do a couple songs? I mean, t in today's format, in today's digital era, you don't need to make an entire album. You can just release a couple, like two, three songs, on you know, just on digital and not on an official album and just release them. Is that something, or or a, a, a singlet, or some some sort of a a short album, three four songs, maybe maybe five, and title it something whatever, and release it? Because I don't think Steven Tyler can't do what he normally does. I just don't think he he can do it and sustain it for the length of a tour. That's why they are no longer touring. Um, can he do it for a day? I think he can, and then. Two weeks after that, can he do it for another day? I think he can. And can you take a couple months, give him the time he needs to recover between these songs, and get a three, four song at little album, you know, album out, and maybe release something? I think it's possible. Joe Perry hasn't uh, ruled it out when he was interviewed, so we'll see. I doubt it's going to happen. Honestly, I don't. It, you know gun to my head, this is it. They're not going to tour anymore. They're not going to have any more new material. They're done. They are retiring for good from everything. And they've been, they've mentioned more than once that the writing of an album, producing of an album, mixing of an album, recording of an album is, is taxing to them at this point. They don't like to do it anymore. Um, they just don't. So, when you think about that in that respect, chances are it's not going to happen. But I do hold out a little bit of hope, and I do say it's not 100% closed. I think it's like 90% closed, which a 10% little chance. Maybe, maybe we get one more thing from them. We'll have to see. I certainly hope so. Anyway... That's my Aerosmith spiel. I know this was a long video. If you're an Aerosmith fan, hopefully you like this one. Um, if you're not an Aerosmith fan and you enjoyed it, please check out my other Aerosmith reactions. They're all in, in the description below. 
with all my other social media, my podcast info, all that good stuff. But until next time, I will see you later.